Okay guys, so I recently bought an Apple Mind Mouse from a guy off Craigslist and when I brought it home I noticed that the scroll wheel was kind of malfunctioning and it wasn't really working properly so I took it apart and cleaned it and put it back together and I made this video to show you how to do it. Watch and learn. Okay, so from watching the other videos like I said earlier on Craigslist, you have to take this gray ring that sits below the side buttons off of the actual Mighty Mouse. And the way you do that is you squeeze the Mighty Mouse and you'll see that it opens up a slight gap in there and you have to get something in there to kind of pry it off. It's got some tabs on the inside so you really do have to kind of be careful so you don't break those tabs. Either way, whether you break the tabs or not, um, you're going to have to glue this back in here. So before you start this video, make sure you have some sort of adhesive like, you know, maybe a spray glue, super glue, or some of the videos I watched had a hot glue so you can kind of pull it off. Because if you use super glue, chances are you're probably not going to have an easy time to get back in there and clean it down the road you know, maybe a year or two later. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off now and I'll keep showing you pictures of my progress. Okay, so have you, as you may have seen, I've been using my screwdriver with a very small fine tip. If you have one of these, I suggest you use it. Um, I was going to try a knife, but I didn't want to risk cutting my, myself. This is a very sharp knife, and um, it was kind of thick um, around the blade. So what else I'm going to show you here, I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but as soon as you open the Mighty Mouse, there are a couple fiber wires in here. One's still connected, as you can see right there. And I don't know if it'll really focus. It's not really too good of a camera. Um, but regardless, maybe that's a good focus. See how there's a white part, and then if you barely look a little closer, there's black around the edges right underneath it and uh, let me see if I can point to it oops oh shit these are real delicate so you have to be kind of careful alright so here is the white part I was talking about alright and then back here is the black thing that I was talking about okay and what you have to do you just basically take your screwdriver and slightly touch it on one side and then again on the other and you do this for both of the wire connections I'm going to see if I can do this while the camera's on, so some of you that are a little fearful um, kind of have a little confidence. So here we go. Take one, slide that side up. Again, I'm sorry for the video quality, but it's just, you know, the only camera I have. And two, slide this one up. I don't know if you saw that. But now it came out, you know. And here's the two fiber wires, and they're just right there. And they're real easy to slide back in. Well, this is what we're going to concentrate on. Underneath here, there are three small screws. You're going to need a small Phillips screwdriver to get in there and clean it out. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of blue dust up in here, um, probably from the previous owner, like I said. And um, this green stuff in here is kind of is how the Mighty Mouse de detects what side you're touching on when you're going to use a left or right click. So I'm going to go ahead and take these screws off, and I'm going to show you guys um, basically the next step. And as you can see, look how dark and dirty the Mighty Mouse scroll wheel is. So We'll see what goes on from there. Alright, so I've taken all three screws out of the uh, little area that secures the Mighty Mouse scroll ball. And as you can see, once you take off those screws, you know, make sure you set them aside so they don't fall apart or go anywhere, you get the scroll ball assembly. Oops, sorry. And um, yeah, so that's it. Now from here, as I can see from here, you may not be able to tell from the camera, but it's got all kinds of dirt, grit, and all kinds of good stuff in there. So the next thing you got to do, you got to pop this thing off. As you can see, the back tab here is a lot longer than the rest. All right, here we go, the back tab, the tab that leads to the fiber wire. And then there's the rest of the side tabs. And again, look how dirty this ball is. But um, you can't complain when you get a Mighty Mouse for 30 bucks. Hopefully I'll be able to enjoy it, but we'll see by the end of this video. All right, back to uh, disassembling the Mighty Mouse and uh, some of the pictures. No. All right, so here's how you pop off this little white housing mechanism. You just take your screwdriver or a small object and lift up on this top right-hand corner, or at least that's what I did anyway, and pull up. Oh, be careful. And there goes the ball itself, you know, the whole object of taking this apart. We're going to set this aside so we can clean that later on with probably some Windex and some glass cleaner. All right, now let's look at this real quick. Um, just from pulling it up, see 
Let's see if we can get this focus. See that little black kind of ball? It's actually a wheel looking thing. Well, it's, it's black on the end with white in the center and then along the, the top it's supposed to be white but if you can kind of tell it's black right there and that's from all the grit just like you'd find on a, on a normal ball and then there's three other ones along the trout the house trout the uh, <laughs> excuse me the housing mechanism as you can see they're a little magnetic so they kind of come off track but they just sit in the corners like that alright and I'm sorry I wish I had a better camera but I'm trying to do this video as detailed as possible because some of the other videos weren't too helpful and uh, I'm going to clean these things and get back to you okay so I got these little magnetic things back in the uh, housing unit as you can see here um, I didn't really need any tweezers or anything small like that I just kind of dropped them in and push them in with my index finger making sure they're a little snug um, not really snug but they fall into place and you want to make sure that you know they're straight I guess and um, yeah so once you do that then you got to take this white cover piece that we took off again and as you can see this side is obviously longer than the rest alright so what you do you take the long side and put it down here I'm trying to do this one handed I don't know how well it's going to work Alright, so now that you got it on there, you just kind of snap it in. And there, see, it's snapped in. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, there, so you'll, you'll obviously hear a click. And let's turn it over. Yeah. And uh, I can already tell the, the scroll wheel is magnificently better. So uh, now it's just time to put this bad boy back together and uh, let's see how it works. Okay, so putting these uh, fiber cords back in is easy. It's relatively easy, but it's obviously not the easiest part of the video. So what you got to do, you don't be afraid to kind of pull them out. You don't really pull them out of the socket or anything. You just kind of stretch them out like that. They'll be fine. And you just push them back snug inside the little casings and uh, push in the black clips that I mentioned earlier. And uh, yeah, they go right in. So I'm going to continue the process. Okay, so when you're putting the bottom back on to the top shell, um, these little bars right here, let's see if I can show them to you, right here, you kind of got to make sure they sit. There's a little groove, if you look, well, you, you can see when you take it off. You got to make sure those are set, you know, set in pretty well. They just snap right in. And then over to the front side, you'll have some more tabs here and here, and they'll just sit right in as well. And then there's like, uh, kind of like a little lip and feed area right here and uh, you know make sure that sits in as well alright so this old can of uh, multi-purpose adhesive is all I have around I don't really have super glue or you know hot glue and so what I'm going to do I'm going to spray it, I guess on a little note card I have over there dab it with a q-tip or something really small and just barely put it around the edges of the base so we can put the last component back on this ring alright so I'm going to dab it on there and I'm going to put the ring on hold it tight um, kind of let it set in. I'm going to try to make sure I don't get any here on the side on the buttons so they can still operate. So just put the glue around the base here, skip the buttons and go over the top. Probably put some drops here and along the bottom. And um, hold it tight, let it sit for a little bit. This adhesive glue takes maybe 30 seconds to dry. I don't know if it works well in plastic, um, but we'll see. It says it's multi-purpose. So let's look. Alright, and here we go. Here's my completed Apple Mighty Mouse. Um, to show you that it's working, here's the arrow on the screen. And here I am moving the Mighty Mouse. Um, the track wheel works great, like it's supposed to. Um, as you can drastically see the difference, you know, it's cleaner. Though the adhesive glue I used didn't work so well. Like the top looks great, but the bottom, um, it's not broken, it's not cracked or anything like that. It's just that um, the glue is not really working so well with plastic. So I'm going to have to go to the store get like super glue. No worries though, it's not really, you know, anything. It's just like the top took better a lot, or you know, sealed a lot better than the bottom did. I guess I was holding the top. I had it gripped in my hand like this, so I guess I have more pressure up there. But um, that'll definitely be on my to-do list so I can get my mouse back in to 100%. I don't know if that guy was trying to jit me or if he didn't know how to clean the mouse or wasn't into that kind of stuff, but uh, looks like I got the better end of the deal. So, yeah.
There's how you uh, clean your Apple Mighty Mouse scroll wheel.